Ooh, welcome! One and all to that thing that I do on weekends. It is Saturday and it is Armored Core Day. One moment while I finish getting set up on my end. Ugh. Oh my god. Ugh. So, long week, crazy work madness, and not a whole hell of a lot of sleep because I've been dicking around with the electronics in this house. Should probably say the wiring, but whatever, I'm about to fall asleep. Hmm. And going in the space below our house, I have probably breathed in enough dust where I could, you know, simulate a sandstorm with the amount of dust that I've inhaled. Um, so yeah, not a lot of sleep on that. And if this stream drops out, the power could be the reason why. Turns out my fuse box is, um, I don't want to say literally an antique, but I think that's about the best I can say. Oh well. Uh, it'll sort itself out, or it won't. Either way, just so that I can keep my eyes open. One moment. Hmm. Damn it. Tea's too hot. Mmm. Because I'm a bitch and I have to let it cool a little bit. Ah. Let's see if I can get that chugged before the uh, ten minute mark. And we'll see if I can actually stay awake long enough to... What the hell? That was Tim being a dick. Um, see if I can stay awake long enough to actually keep my head together and in the game. Ugh. Because I know the arena's heating up. Let's see, where are we at? Hmm. All right, all of my dumb things are set up. So, where was I last week, aside from not having a sense of direction? And powering away at the arena. Although I think that one mission where I really needed the map, I um, wound up not having access to that. I think I failed that one pretty hard. So, before we get into that, let's take a quick peek and not spend all stream dwelling on that, because the less time in minis, the better. I'm going to look at looking at. Uh, Alright, so this one's got a map head. This one doesn't. It looks like it has a stock head. And this one doesn't, because it looks like it has a stock head. So, let's... uh, mm, Yeah, let's fix that on both of the other machines. I mean, they're basically all using the same head at this point, but the main thing is I want to make sure that whatever machine I go in with, I have a mini-map. I have a map memory is what I'm trying to say. Ooh, because the sense of direction issue is real here. So, let's see. Next up on the docket, do I have any new mail that I forgot to read? Whoa, crap. Lots of mail. Eh, it's not even front a front mission day, so let's get them visual shenanigans, visual no novel shen visual novel shenanigans out of the way. Blah! I'm off to a great start. <laughs> okay, from Lane Myers. The reckless actions of the controller's army, the skirmishes among corporations, Laird, is in a state of total chaos. The damage being caused by the controller's army is especially severe. Not only have they targeted corporate facilities but also equipment vital for maintaining Laird's, and Laird's infrastructure. Yeah, can't speak. We've received reports indicating that Mirage is developing a program that will enable direct access to the controller. Okay, that's some... That's some real shit. <laughs> Perhaps they are working on this to address Laird's current situation, though the exact reason is unknown. It's a power grab, you dumbass. Mirage controls the controller, then they control Laird. Ugh. And speaking of corporate shenanigans, this message is to notify you of a new product release. We'd like to share what we can with those who have proven their loyalty. The new product is an AC arm part. 
Model number CAL-44-EAS something something. Seem new part to the part leg part. I'm not even gonna read these ones. Okay, well I'll be real. We provide this only to those who have gone out of their way to support us. Please check the shop. Consistently working to improve products, aggressive investment, yada yada yada. Equipping inadequate parts. Don't talk about my inadequacy. And Mirage. Access failed. Rest facility has been secured and we are making attempts to access the controller directly, but the situation looks bleak. Procedure is proving to be both complicated and time consuming. Our engineers say that with more time it would be possible. Sadly, this is not a luxury we can afford. Okay, was this because I screwed the pooch because I couldn't remember which way I was going last week? I bet it's that. As a result of the controller's recent attacks, many areas within the Laird are experiencing serious problems. Power and oxygen shortages. Problem I hadn't really thought about, huh? Flooding and radiation leaks. Raven, what shall we do? Have we been abandoned by the controller? No, the controller's just senile. It, that's it's all good. Give him his crazy pills, he'll be good. But before we get to that asshole, we gotta get to this asshole. Faust. And his machine Magus. Reverse joint looks to be about midweight. Oh, are those up boosters? That'll be interesting. Nicknamed the Sorcerer, he has an unsettling habit of disappearing into thin air after combat. Like Batman, he prefers to launch attacks when, while airborne, and through, though his AC may look delicate, opponents underestimate it at their own peril. So, he's just Batman. Okay. It, you know, except for the big-ass gun. So... <laughs> Uh, watched a nice video about uh, things Batman fans get wrong, and funny enough, the gun thing wasn't on there because you know Batman typically doesn't use firearms, but you know depends on the Batman. They did say something about him being perceived as a loner being wrong. It's like true, but only a half truth. Uh. Just because he has a lot of people around him, I wouldn't say he's not a loner. Just that, you know, he has a good support group. He likes to keep a tight op. Okay, I mean... He's got Alfred, he's got Gordon, he's got Batgirl, any number of Robins, Nightwing, Justice League, etc. But he doesn't have them all at once, and he doesn't just, like, go hunting them down. Because if he can solve his problem solo, he's gonna solve his problem solo. Okay, shit, this guy's wrecking my shit. Okay, this might not have been the best map for this. Don't make me go to the arena. Oh! No! Oh, he likes to be up close with that thing, too. Okay, that was not good. Oh, I'm hung on a column. I'm gonna die. Okay. As long as he doesn't... Keeps not firing. Uh... Whoa, holy crap, is he actually is he gonna just stand back and let me kill him? Okay, whoa! Holy crap, he did! Oh, it's going good! Welcome, King Thunder! To the fun! Okay, one moment while I sit this green tea. Oh crap, I only got one minute! Uh. Ow, that's painfulicious! What I do, I do for the love of caffeine. Ooh. Also, honey lemon green tea packets. That stuff's dope. Okay. Well, one, two more arena opponents, I think, before going into a mission. But I think I'm going ahead and catch the mail, which there probably will be. Ooh, guess not. Let's see, arena. Probably have to beat B7 first. Ooh. But there's been a considerable bit of gaming news this week. Some fun stuff, some less fun. Um, I don't know if Windows 10 stuff counts as gaming news, but I'll throw that one out there because that's the operating system I kind of main right now. Um, ooh, Nobuo Imatsu. Yeah, that is a very good way to compose music. Composing by using multiple smaller pieces and rearranging them. Um, 
Yeah, I hadn't really thought too much about that approach, but that's kind of how I did um, my previous um, stream theme, and probably how I'm going to wind up doing my next one. This, the current one that I have, it's it's a good thing. It's, um, it's the only song that he's ever used that technique on. Wow. It turned out great for it. But I digress and move on for a moment because Cypress and his hoverbot Shade, steadfast in his belief that the controller must be preserved, <laughs> current events, good luck with that, he pays his respects prior to every match. His AC is composed of an amalgamation of crest equipment, making it well balanced and suited to a variety of combat styles. Okay, so he's a fast mover. I need um, a bit more room to breathe, so here we go. And Nobuo, Uematsu's music, I've, I'm always going to love the stuff that he puts out, and I really need to look into more of his stuff since I kind of lost touch with Final Fantasy. Um, I need to look into the Kingdom Hearts music, see how much, if any, of that he's done. I don't recall right offhand. That's a... The Kingdom Hearts games are about where I sort of fell out of uh, JRPGs, so... Um, which Kingdom Hearts news? Holy shit! This guy is... Quit flying, you bastard! <laughs> okay! I think I came woefully unequipped for this! Holy shit! What are you doing? I was expecting this from the one named Flying Fix. Wow! That was... Bad. Um. Okay, I'm gonna try that one more time before I um write this off. Oh man. But Uematsu though, he's um he's got really good stuff. Everything I've ever heard from him, well, almost everything I'll say is felt like gold. But I need to recheck Kingdom Hearts. Um, and apparently the end of the month of is gonna be a good time for people to get into Kingdom Hearts if they haven't already, because they are releasing yet another big-ass compilation. You bastard! I'm gonna need... Okay, it might might help if I actually looked up everyone's... Oh, just shredded. Wow, that was terrible. Yeah, um, where is it at? So, Kingdom Hearts, compilation number 42, I guess. Zack Fair was the last character that Tetsuya Nomura drew. Zack Fair. I'm trying to remember who that is. I'm going to tab that real quick. I'm also going to cancel this match because I want to try that on a different map. Oh, Dissidia. Let's see. Oh! From FF7. I get him. Okay, that Zack. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I'm wondering if he'll be in the next Kingdom Hearts in any capacity, because they like to reuse their characters for that a lot. Uh, let's see, maybe if I try a different machine. I'm going to do that one that battle one final time, but I'm going to switch to something a little meatier. A certain obese robot. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I was saying about Kingdom Hearts, there is going to be yet another compilation. They're doing... Uh, compilation called The Story So Far, and it's coming out at the end of the month, like the day before Halloween. It's going to have Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, RE Chain of Memories, 358 slash 2 Days, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, Birth by Sleep Final Mix, Recoded, Dream Drop Distance, um, that uh, Kingdom Hearts 0 0.2 Birth by Sleep thing, the, the demo, I think, with Akko or whatever, and some movie called... Um, Kingdom Hearts X back cover. I mean, just a crap ton of Kingdom Hearts stuff in there. Um, like one item, that movie thing I honestly hadn't heard of. So, that's gonna be a thing that happens. Okay, this asshole goes airborne again. I might have to try a different tactic, but let's go Wasteland. I'm gonna do this one more time, then I'm gonna go pop into missions. So, Kingdom Hearts, I have three titles in that series, I think. I've got Chain of Memories, both regular and free. 
I have Kingdom Hearts 1 and Kingdom Hearts 2, and I have not even popped 2 into my... Whoa, you asshole! I have not even popped 2 into my PS2, so I have not played it at all. The Oh, jeez! This guy is... This guy is plus, um... Cause that is chain gun fire. I didn't I didn't pay any attention to that. Oh, I'm gonna get shredded. This guy, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need to cut this guy's verticality off. Because that that is bad. Okay, FF7 remake. Okay. What is this dude's deal? Holy shit. Okay. B7. So it's going to take a little bit more effort to get into the B ranks than seeing. Okay, FF7 remakes starting over. Okay, the does it need a remake thing? Um, honestly, with the amount of effort they put into it, it's already been such a money sink. I don't think they need a remake. Um, so yeah, that that's um. As for the players needing remake, I don't know. If if they do it in its in the direction they're currently going, I'm gonna say no, I don't think so. Um several previous games I think would be more suited. I don't know about the first one. Six would probably piss a lot of people off, but I think it'd be a welcome one. I'd certainly like to play six a, a bit more. You know, I used to have I used to have some voice acting, I think. Oh my god, a lot less painful now. Yay! Should've let that tea cool down more, but... To hell with it. FF1 getting a remake? That'd be interesting. I would like to see that. Um, I do have that on Game Boy Advance, though. I just don't have a Game Boy Advance to play it, and it makes me sad. I've got to check that out. Okay, I've got to get a new Game Boy Advance. Hmm. If I ever do an RPG uh, stream day, that'd be a nice one to have for a long play day. Give the characters their, uh, a little bit of personality, like I failed to do with uh, God what was it Death Road to Canada. Hmm, mission briefing, and I am shutting up now. Controller forces have commenced an attack on Sector 422. Our headquarters is based in the area and must be protected at all cost. They're advancing in groups of two or three, which is hampering our efforts to drive them back. Our biggest concern is the ventilation duct. Enemy units are bypassing the defenses there with surprising ease. Please head to the ventilation duct and hold them off. Don't let a single unit get by, or all is lost. Well, if ventilation ducts were good enough for John McClane, they're good enough for me. Um, I am going to go on ahead and save real quick, because... I forgot to, and this sounds like an important mission to do so. So let's do the saving thing that I always forget. Uh, FF2 and 3 I have zero familiarity with. Um, I know that 2 is when they actually started having player characters with personalities. The first one was just, you know, four randos that don't really have any dialogue. Um... I want to say 4 was the one where, like, Roms had him translated as the main dude as, like, Barts or Butts or something. I don't know how he got translated in other stuff, but whatever. Um, I would like to go back and play some of the other older FF games. So if they were to remake some, I don't... I personally don't think Final Fantasy VII should be a top candidate. Okay. Alright, here we go. Okay, maybe I should have had something with a little bit more heft to it for a fire a firearm. Alright, where you at? Oh, it's these damn things. Okay. This might have been a mission suited to a rifle. Okay. I can't even see where they are. Damn it. They're approaching the bulkhead. Yeah, no shit. Take them out. 
That's the plan. Raven, stop them. Oh, great. Damn it. They're almost through. Hurry. Oh, this is going to be a fun mission. Um, I'm going to need to reload. Yep, just like that. Ugh. Okay, is this a game over mission though? Because they said the whole all is lost thing, and I'm like... Oh, no game over screen. So does that mean I get kicked back to this? Or do I just have to retry that mission over and over again? Okay, let's see, mail. Okay, Crest defense is defeated. Crest's last line of defense, the element in charge of guarding their headquarters, has been destroyed. The assault on Crest's interests started in Sector 422, but has spread to all other areas under their control as well. Mirage is gathering defenses to secure areas under its control, but the situation looks bleak. That's twice they've used bleak to describe the situation. And Crest. We appreciate the help, Raven, but Crest is through. We no longer have the means to retaliate. That the controller was malfunctioning has been known to us for a long time. And you did what? Dick bags. Malfunctioning or no, if the controller has decided to destroy us, then that is our f <sighs> Seriously, guys? People cannot survive in a world without order, even if that order is nothing but an illusion. So, instead of fixing the problem, you are literally just saying, well, fuck it, we're all gonna die. Even when you have tools available to possibly fix... I knew there was a reason I didn't like those assholes. Um, okay, so... Well, I guess I'm gonna have to do that mission again, like, post-game. Okay, destroy massive weapon. Okay, there's a reason I had this in my notes, I think. Where are we at? Oh, no, just that was destroy massive MT. Totally different thing. Okay. And it's Mirage. Wait a second, where did it say? Submerged city. That sounds like water could be involved. So. Let's switch over to something that can handle water. Um... And there goes Black Star pulled into action, and we have. Ooh! Okay, and I'll get to the Windows 10 thing I touched on in a little bit after this. A massive weapon believed to be under the influence of the controller made an unexpected appearance today. We've never seen anything like it. It's a single unit that is neither AC nor NT, but obviously something of great power. The best our forces have managed. Neither AC nor MT, but BFG. The target is currently sealed off in Section 732, an abandoned city district submerged when an earthquake shattered its retaining bulkhead. Take care around the water. Okay, looks like I was, um, right to pick a hover machine from the sound of things. Uh, and they picked two hover machines. Eh, I'll grab Joker. Okay, VG facts. According to Cloud's early artwork, his sword is held on his back by a magnet held in place by straps. That's pretty cool. One hell of a magnet, but that's pretty cool. I really like that. I need to look that up. Okay, the, uh, the Windows 10 thing, though, since I said earlier I kind of main the operating system, um, I... I like 7 more, but it's time to switch for the most part, so, oh well. But yeah, apparently the October update has been cancelled for some recent Intel CPUs. Oh, large rockets would have been used. Okay, thanks for the heads up. If I fail this mission, I'm going to keep that in mind. Oh boy, um, what am I looking at? Okay, 
that was less cover than I expected. But yeah, apparently the, um... Okay, that is not hitting, I don't think. Okay, here we go. But the October update is apparently screwing up on, uh... Modern... Intel processors. Ooh. And it's causing some issues, including some audio driver issues, and, um... Oh, yeah. Mass deletion of files in document, pictures, and music folders. So, yeah, kind of a rough one. Thankfully, my current processor is a AMD. Okay, crap, I moved. I would have heard that alert if I weren't talking. I should have uh, listened to that. I was doing good damage, though, up until then. Oh, this looks like a game over. They seriously want to revoke status as a raven when the world is basically imploding. Good job. You know, I'm just going to kill that. Um, so, whoops. Large rockets. I'm going to have to look those up. But yeah, Windows 10 October update on, uh, I think it said 6th gen and newer processors is deleting people's files en masse. Um, not everyone is experiencing this, but it's like intermittent. Okay, hit him whenever he's up with large rockets. Okay. Um, which one was it? I think it was this one. But, uh... Okay, large rockets. Switch over to the... Good old Black Star, make sure I've got him on. Oh, shop's in the garage now. Arr! Let's see. Right hand. 16 shots and dealing about 18 or 3200 uh, damage. Let's see. Let's see if it's a hand part. If it's not a hand part, then I'll find it. Rockets are typically shoulder parts. I'm a dummy. Uh, I'm still going to look while I'm here. And a rocket. Nope. Oh, this is 15 and... Okay, 15 and 15. Okay, so it's... I'm going to switch to shoulder then. Okay. That, that's where I should have checked in the first place. I'm dense. Small rockets. Chain gun. Ammo. Radar. Okay. Okay, let's see. Where are we at? Triple rocket, large rocket, and 18 and 32. Okay, this looks like the one. Okay, that is a spicy price tag. But, post-game, that grinding's a thing and I can always sell them back. So, let's, uh, why did I buy two of them? Eh. Oh, that's... That's a bit of a problem. Let's see how much. Um... 200. Leg weight point by 200. Um, I want to keep the radar, though, because I'm really... Yeah, rockets... The manual aim thing is one of the reasons I almost never use them. They're... There's something I can't use in the faster battles, but I never think of them when it comes to these big monolithic monstrosities. Um, I guess I can ditch this. Because um, these like massive MTs and stationary devices, they're really good for them, and I never think of them. Like, ever. Oh, right, the hover legs. It being a water mission, this could be... Um, this could be tricky. Well, I'm not going to save because... Oh! Controller forces have oh! Their advancing Our biggest can Derp. Okay, well, um... <laughs> okay, well, that, that changes things. I went back a couple missions because I forgot to save because that is... Literally my kryptonite. 
Okay, well, I'm going to do that mission again, I suppose, but I'm going to switch machines. Garage. And I've got a machine prepped for that, so let's see. Assembly. What's your generator? Alright, let's see what I can do with generators in the shop. Mm. Output and max. Okay, that one's a bit heavy. I think I'm about the best I can do on a generator here. So, let's see. Whew, time to fix my mistake. I'm going ahead and take this ventilation mission. Ugh, the John McLean job. That's what I always think of when I think of, of him is crawling through his vents at the beginning of... Uh, wasn't it the beginning? He's like halfway through the original Die Hard. Shit, I am out of my mind this, today. Ha! <laughs> okay, up and... Okay. Come on. Okay, maybe this will be easier. So I'll need to stay above that big guy constantly when I get to him. Um, okay. These things just keep getting further and further away, and I know that's probably the point. Yes, I got it. Take them out. Okay. The hell? Come on. Let me look up, game. It's not something I'm good at, but come on. Raven, stop them. That's the plan, Lane. Oh, come on! It's like... I already don't have much in the way of... They're almost through. Hurry. Oh, come on. Right, seriously? Damn it! Is breached. Mission failed. Yeah, fuck this mission indeed. I hate this. Um, <laughs> I, I definitely would need a different build for this one. Um, rifles seriously come to mind. Wow, I'm just going to go ahead and save so I don't have to come back to this one. Because um, if I fail that one afterward, it's going to kick my ass. Yeah... They take, like, trivial damage when they're closed, when they got their little clamshell thing, but locking onto them is such a pain in the ass, you can't really toggle the lock too much. So, just wasting bullets on them is... It makes me feel like a jerk for not waiting on them to open. Okay, where's the thing that I always forget to do? I'll switch to the giant MT in just a moment. I'm gonna hop into the arena. See if I can knock Flyboy down a peg. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> His name is Cypress. And he jumps around. Why the hell didn't I get that sooner? Ah! Okay. So, structure is out, because he goes high. Underground factory. It's got a bit of a ceiling on it. I just don't want to go straight back to the um, parking lot. That's like always the solution to these high-flying guys. And I don't want to just stay on the same mission. I don't want to stay on the same map every, uh, every time. Okay. Damn, I love chain guns, but not when they're on in enemy hands. Okay. Okay, and I need to break that circle strafe, because that's how he's killing me, because I'm playing badly. Okay, I'm going to replay that one time. Retry. I mean... Okay, so circle strafing. This is the game series that I was introduced to that concept in. Just circling around an enemy over and over, and jumping up and down and trying to dodge like that... Um, the only problem is, when the other guy has a machine gun, he's gonna 
circle strafing is kind of a uh, half the battle because you have to change like back and forth and I'm not that great at that and chain guns just wow um oh shit looks like his close range games on ooh this is I'm gonna come back to him also, it seems the tea has kicked in because I am wide awake now. Whee! Okay, Cypress. I do not want to have to go back to the parking lot with him. I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna feel like a jerk for reasoning that same. Huh? Audio glitching. I think it's on my end though. I think it's just my he just my headset being dumb. Okay. All right, gotta switch to Black Star now. Now they don't have to deal with those damn clamshell dudes. It's like those little plastic eggs filled with candy, but they're not filled with candy. They're filled with lies. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Black Star is already selected. Mission. Okie dokie. A massive weapon believed to be under the it's a single unit that isn't the top. And I'm half tempted to see if Comeback here can do a, the bulk of the damage, cause uh, uh Any way you can cheese a mission is a good is a good way. Operation code Leviathan, good good code there. Definitely digging that one. Okay. I love the design of this thing too. It just it just looks great. Your Be careful, Raven. Even looks like a kind of a menacing <laughs> the hell? Oh. Nothing important. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Stand up, fool! Oh, come on. Don't be a dick! Hey, Joker, do something! Ah! That's my face! Oh! These ones... Oh! Joker, really? What the... You hold your fire, I'm... <laughs> Just literally jumped in my line of fire! That's the kind of thing I do. Okie dokie. Where was I at? Oh, you the freaking gnats again. Okay, whoa, roasted. Oh, move, move, move. Oh, didn't strafe soon enough, damn it. Yeah, when I uh reload back into the game, I'm gonna try this again. That was that was a bad showing. I'm going to try with the rockets again, but I was doing solid damage with the machine guns spinning around this guy. It's the mobility of a hover unit. It's not something I'm really accustomed to, but it's really useful at times. Load in game. All right, here we go. Okay, and while I'm loading in, the rumor about um, PSN name changes has come up again. Uh, it comes up periodically. Um, there's a bit more weight to it this time than I'm used to seeing. Um, are we at mission? Go ahead and switch to Black Star if I'm not already there. All right, Black Star. Um, so yeah, last week, last year, I mean. Uh, God, what was his name? Andy something said something about people asking the question about that time all the time and that hopefully this time he'd have something to say by the uh, next PlayStation experience which is funny because it was canceled this year but uh, yeah there's like an internal document image a supposed internal docu document image circulating talking about uh, 
name changes. Yeah, decade sounds about right. It's like seriously, Microsoft beat them to the punch hard on that one. But yeah, the idea though is there's like internal rumblings between multiple developers and this is Kotaku so again take it with a grain of salt and it's PSN name changes so take it with another pound but yeah it would be cool if uh, they got that together okay all right come on okay the gnats are gonna okay surfacing Good. Okay, his are bigger than mine. Okay, move. Okay. Okay, how much damage does that thing sustain? Um, because I don't think I can take much more. Okay, and that... Okay, I can clearly not take much more. But yeah, the... Ooh! Wow. He's gone. That was... Oh, good job on that one. Great call, Joker. Good, um... Good that you noticed. Good that you were awake. Okay. But yeah, if they do the PSN name change from what I was reading in the article that was... While the source was Kotaku, the article was posted on... Niche Gamer is posted on there, and uh, apparently they're like there's like developers claiming that they're having to go back to some older games and retrofit systems that were never intended to have different names, probably like ranking systems and shit. Uh, Call of Duty. So, yeah, um, <laughs> fingers crossed, but not even holding my breath. Okay, let's see. Crest Defense is defeated. I don't even read that one again. Mirage! Raven, let me be the first to congratulate you on a job well done. We weren't sure you could pull it off. I know, right? Look at my accuracy, holy shit! On behalf of all citizens of Laird, we'd like to make a request. We hope you'll accept. Are you also going to give me the key to the city? Holy shit, we're closing in on Endgame fast. Which means I need to step up my arena game soon. Okay, but I'm going to go ahead and save... Will I save after Black Star getting gets returned? Eh. But yeah, old PSN name change thing. Hmm. It's not like the biggest priority, but I'm sure. I'm sure there's enough people out there, enough demand where it'd be a very welcome change. I don't usually like to listen much to rumors, but you know, I like to. It's like I keep my eye out for him, but I don't hold my breath. Mission! Oh! Where we at? Investigate Magna Ruins! Oh, this sounds promising. Disruptions caused by the controller forces are on the rise. If they continue, we may have no choice but to launch an attack on the controller itself. Unsubstantiated rumors indicate the existence of a passage somewhere in the heart of Magna Ruins that leads directly to the controller. Yeah, I think I covered my stance on rumors here, so, um, have fun with that, not wharf. An advanced team already searched the area, but uncovered nothing. We'd like you to take another look. If the passage exists, it may be just what we need. Also, we hired an escort to provide backup. Please work together. No, I'm bitter. You take him back. Or her. Her, okay. Okay, so we got anyone else that I can hire? Oh! Yay, I can hire two consorts! Sweet. And he can't unselect the uh, unselect Huntress, so that's cool to, cool to know. I mean, I didn't intend to, but... Wanted to check. Another rumor I'm, I've stumbled across was uh, apparently there's rumblings, and I saw even less info on this. 
about a new Nintendo Switch model next year. I'm like, it would be par for Nintendo's course, but apparently there is some say that they might have like a better screen and that might be like thinner or something. Oh, here we go. But yeah, idea is that it might come out in like late 2019 and I'm like, okay, but not, not holding my breath or waiting around for it. Come on, uh, these little stealth bastards. Active camouflage. Ugh. Who to thunk? Okay, come on, give me a little bit more. I knew they would. The stream's going offline? That's weird. Rebels like yourself have outlived their use. I'm getting a solid stream on my replay, but thinking you could destroy the control. Huh. What a fool idea. Oh, fanfare. Hello. There's no place for you in this world. What? No, Huntress, you were so alive and Die. not Die. shooting at me. What changed? Okay. Okay. Mm, rockets weren't the best solution, but hey. Got a few licks in, so... Oh, man. I'm going to keep an eye on that stream situation, though, because I'm looking... Well, I guess it's to my right. Periodically, that's where I've got my laptop sitting. Ooh! Got them jukes! But, um... Come on. Oh, there she goes. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. If the, if the stream is dipping out, I don't know what the deal is. I don't know what the deal is. Okay. I noticed the viewer count kind of fluctuating. So if that's you, I'm sorry. I need to investigate that. Okay. Because I've also taken to streaming with an Ethernet cable attached rather than with the wireless. I mean, wireless is easier, but, you know... Wireless is still wireless. Oh, this is not good. Um... Quit jumping, you springy bastard! Oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, God, this... I loved the elevator scene. Okay, I'm gonna switch weapons. Oh boy. I don't know why I hated Otacon the first time I played through Metal Gear Solid, but kind of warmed up to him after uh, later games. Even though he, he's... He is in tears in every single game he appears in, I swear. I mean, don't entirely blame him. That man's got some shit on his plate. And I'd be pissing my pants too if I saw a cyborg ninja standing in front of my locker with like a freaking sword right at his side, ready to carve my freaking jaw off my face. I mean, not that he ever did that, but he totally could have. Let's see. Hmm, let's go something a little meatier this time. Yeah, I absolutely would not have called those two being friends Snake and Otacon. Um... <laughs> but, you know... Batman needs his support, and he's totally different from Alfred, so I suppose, in a way, it makes sense. It certainly isn't because Snake isn't smart, it's just because combat's his specialty. Because, I mean, I remember in some of the bio things that, um, they're in Metal Gear Solid, Snake's got like a 180 or something IQ, so he's... 
easily a genius. But, you know, different specialties. Plus, I guess he needs someone to keep him kind of grounded. So that's cool. Oh, when's the honeymoon? Not for Snake and Otacon. Eh. Although... Okie dokie. This is going to be tedious. Oh! Let's see. I kind of want to save some of my bullets for this one. Okay. Oh, boy. Looking good for the enemy count here. And then when it comes to the ACs, I switch back to my machine gun so I can get my preferred damage dealer out. I knew they wouldn't be enough. Okay, Snake killed his dad three times. Okay. I'm trying to remember all three. There was the Fox die at the end of four. There was what a fool idea. Metal Gear 2 and the Emulation. Did he? No end of you in this world. the first Metal Gear? Did he do them both Metal Gears? Shit. Yeah, he did. Wow, I totally forgot. Huh. How about that? He keeps killing that dude. You know, he just can't keep a good soldier. He just... The whole go to hell and regroup thing. He took that seriously. Okay. Let's see how you take orbits to the face. Fabulous. Okay, now there's... Oh shit, now there's something up with the stream. Okay, the hell? Yeah, now there was a little bit of a delay in the stream. It just wigged out all of a sudden and popped back on. So yeah, something's really weird here. Okay, orbits are, are done. Box die in four and both Metal Gear games. Okay. Okay, cool. Just wanted to confirm that. All right. Wow, what is Huntress doing? What are you... I'm shooting everyone. What kind of question is that? See? You're someone. Oh, Venom Snake. I really need to, um... Play 5, because I honestly don't know jack shit about Venom Snake. Watching TFS's playthrough, so... I'm gonna get that game spoiled for me super hard. Makes me sad, but... Eh. It's going to be a while before I can play MGS5 again. Got it free on PS Plus, but I don't have PS Plus anymore. I kind of hate that about the free games on this. It's like free game rentals is what that is. All right. From Mirage. We had no intention of getting rid of the controller, and all we'd hoped to do was to create the perfect genetic soldier. Not for power, not for evil, but for good. Okay, all we'd hoped to do was to play a role in administering pa its power. Even though it may be malfunctioning, we still rely on the controller for our continued existence. Perhaps you're capable of doing the unthinkable, but if that's the case, then it is you who possess and poses our greatest threat. Union is sure to try and take advantage of such misguided efforts. Okay. So, Crest is a fatalist, and Mirage is prey-eating prey. I mean, what the hell? You've become too dangerous, and if you act in haste, you will condemn us all. So, <laughs> good job, guys. Just, wow. And from Global Cortex, congratulations on your new rank. We hope you will continue to perform as you have been. In recognition of your advancement, we are awarding you with the CWC SLU 64 back part. Please check the garage. 
as opposed to the CWC SLU that was the PlayStation version, the 64 one has better textures. Ah. Okay, but seriously. Slug gun? Three seashell method for Demolition Man. I heard someone worked that out. I never did find out how that actually is a thing. I'm like... I'm trying to think. It's like one for scraping and... I don't know. <laughs> Who the hell put so much thought into that? Oh my god. Love that movie though. That movie's so dumb. Let's see. First two to pinch, third to scrape clean. Okay, so I had part of the puzzle. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that is... Thanks for that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and save. This is... Wow. And... Okay, I'm going to try and tackle one more mission, because if it's this late in the game, there's only going to be like a small handful of missions. Okay. Infiltrate Rahito Lab. Mmm, Dorito Lab. Both Crest and Mirage continue to believe that the controller's functions should be preserved. They refuse to see the warning signs. Our resources are stretched to the limit as it stands, but someone needs to take action. The only avenue left to us is rendering the controller inoperative. The location of the controller's core is stored on a mainframe in Mirage's Rahito laboratory. Past attempts to retrieve this information have all ended in failure. In order to gain access to the mainframe, you must retrieve three code keys and then enter them into their respective terminals. Failure is not an option. You must procure information detailing the core's location. Alright, thank you, not Stacy Keach. Let's see what we got here. So, find some little code keys and slip them into slots. That's some... Um, that's some old-school Doom shit right there. Liking that. Oh, man. Three seashells. Um... Speaking of, um... Bad movies. I guess it's been, like, trending on YouTube, but I, um... Stumbled across a documentary about uh, Street Fighter basically being like the best bad movie ever. Talking about the uh, problems the movie had from day one. Like, it, was, it basically had a year turnaround time. They had to do all the action scenes first because Raul Julia's cancer was so rough and choreography was kind of on the spot, but wow. And there's a lot of other little tidbits in there. I don't want to spoil the whole thing, but. It was a good watch. Okay, do I have a blade? Because it's blading time, I don't want to... Okay. Sit down, you. Okay. Does this head... Yeah, this head has the memory. Okay. Zoom out a little bit. But yeah, Raul Julia, though. That to be his last role, I mean... I did not know how underweight he was, though, for that. He he owned the scenes. He owned every every bit of it that he was in. I'm going back to the start. Ugh. I got turned around so easy. Okay. So we have... The map keeps resetting. Damn it. Cut it out. Okay, push forward this way. But I haven't really seen a lot of Raul Julia's movies. Um, trying to remember. I remember Mystery Science Theater. They had one called Overdrawn at the Memory Bank, in which she was this worker at some future company and this weird dystopia or some shit. And he was like really fixated on Casablanca. It was a it was a mess. Um. What was it the rookie I think that had um, Charlie Sheen and um... oh god Clint Eastwood drawing a blank 
least convincing German ever. Oh, obviously the first Adams Family movie. But yeah, I love what I've seen of Raul Julia's acting, but he had the least convincing German accent ever. How am I doing? Okay. Downstairs, it looks like. Adam's family, though, I barely remember. I seem to remember there being, like, a third one, and uh, him being replaced with um, Tim Curry, and as much as I like Tim Curry's work, not sure I wanted to see that one. I mean, it was direct to video, I think, so sooner or later I'm going to have to look it up. Oh, come on. Cut it out. Probably wasting AP just humoring these guys with blade to blade. Okay. Cool. That's one. That one was number two. That almost leads me to believe I missed something. But this map says otherwise. Oh, good. I can still hit these. When frugality infects gameplay, I like to save my, my bullets. Especially now that I'm down 40% of my ammo. Alright, so this is number three. Code key obtained. Oh, this is not good. Huh. I gotta figure out how to get to the other one. But at least this time I have a map. I mean, damn. Oh yeah, and apparently Toys R Us is trying to cancel their bankruptcy. Like, just literally terminate it. They want to actually see if they can try and survive. You know, I support this idea, you know. Because a lot of people have a lot of nostalgia for Toys R Us. I mean, I'm not one of them, but, you know, it would have been cool to set foot in one of the stores, but... Yeah, they got, like, a trust fund set up trying to get their laid-off employees paid and a whole bunch of other shit. Okay, so this is the code key room. Okay, so that's... Part of the puzzle. Oh boy, this, um. Ooh. A little backtracking, looks like. Two out of three ain't bad. But my singing is. Okay. Seriously? Damn it. It's like the direct approach is out. I guess I'm going uptown. <clears throat> but yeah, for Toys R Us, though, to have just gone so bad, I don't, know, I don't know what the deal is. I'm sure if I, like, sat down and thought about it for a minute, smartphones would probably be my guess in modern electronics, modern toys being a lot less stuffed animals and dolls, but, you know. At least that's what I'm blaming with my with my old man brain. Oh, crap. I ran myself out of juice. Ah! Come on. Oh, this is going to be tedious. <laughs> Oh boy, ran myself out of power before I... Alright, there we go. But yeah, apparently... I seem to remember reading some comments, uh, mostly on GameSpot, uh, from people talking about how you had to have like a ticket to go back to the 
back of the store and like pick up a game and they said it made it feel like they were winning some sort of contest and that's actually really kind of cool sounding. Reminds me of how I got that Super Nintendo. I've told that story before though. Trip to Target and all. And um, we were just browsing through the store and saw the Nintendo 64 next to it, saw the Super Nintendo. I don't know why we got the uh, SNES over the um, over the 64, because I remember liking the really pretty graphics on uh, Mario 64, and I say pretty for at the time. But, um, yeah, we stuck with the Super Nintendo. I have no regrets. Alright, here we go. Okie dokie, so I suppose that's the locked door that I didn't get to go through a minute ago. Okay, yeah, that looks... this looks like new territory. Except for the part where it's clearly not, and... ugh. I didn't remember any ascent. Oh boy, I think I need a different generator on this thing. Something with more output rather than, you know, the capacity. But the one with the, the most output, I think, has this really tiny red zone, and I, I drives me nuts when I run out of energy, and I use that red zone to offset my heavy thumb. Okie dokie. And now for the downside of the Exceed Orbit cores. No overboost. This is a very visually ugly level, though, I have to say. It's just so much red. I like the, the layout, the design and everything, but the red lights just kind of kill this one. Come on. Stand in front of me, you butt munch. Alright, come on, Nocturne. Try not to shoot the walls with these orbits. I've only got so many of them. Okay. I think they're putting in more damage than I am, though. Okay. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, I'm out of energy, though. Oh, man, he's just shredding me. This is so bad. Uh-oh. Come on. And out of orbits. This is, uh, this is really bad. Oh. Um. Well, he didn't... He did not pop. Crap. Oh, damn it. Oh, the red lights of the Virtual Boy. One of these days, I'm going to satisfy my curiosity and uh, buy one of those. Also, welcome, Growlin 3. Oh, boy. Revocation of that license. I don't know why I would want to subject my eyes to a Virtual Boy. Or my stomach. But... Sooner or later, I'd like to give that a crack. Uh, well, this is where I get off for today, sadly. Um, so I am going to go on ahead and... Wow, that, that caffeine and that tea did not last very long. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for sticking around and watching me bounce along walls and bumble through that level. I think I think next week I'm going to try and um, actually have more bullets. But, that's for next week. Tomorrow, I'm popping in with Front Mission 3, and same bat time, 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern. So, thanks again for sticking around for my rambling, and I will 
see you when I see you, and hopefully this stream won't be so spotty like it was in the middle. Hmm, sorry about that. I don't know what the deal is. Hmm, but thanks anyway, and take care. Have a nice afternoon. Damn it, mouse. Eh. I like to run a tight op around here. Everything works so smoothly. Here we go. Okay. See you around. Ha! <laughs>